So it is that time of the month again. It is product empties time. You know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. So we are here for our August product empties. So if you want to see what's in this basket, whether I recommend them, whether I will be repurchasing them or not, then keep on watching. <music> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast and this is your go-to channel for all things Aussie beauty. If you're new around here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below to keep up to date on all my videos that come at you every Monday and Friday. And without further ado, let's jump on into the video and see what's in this basket. So I have a few different products in this basket this month, mainly skincare. So yeah, let's grab out the first product. The first one in here is very, very dirty. And this is my Shu Uruma Ultimate Cleansing Oil. This bottle, I reckon, lasted me probably a year. So I absolutely love this cleansing oil and I will definitely be repurchasing this when I get the chance. I'm suffering without this. So I really need this in my routine again and I really need to purchase another bottle. If you are looking for an awesome cleansing oil to get rid of all your makeup, I typically use this for like when I have a full face of makeup, like eyeliner, mascara, the whole hog. I typically use this to cleanse off my makeup and then then I follow up with a, another cleanser. This gets rid of everything, like everything. It is amazing. It is the best cleansing oil I have found. And I highly recommend you checking this out if you can. The Shurama cleansing oils have a, a whole heap of different formulas. I like the Ultimate. I have tried a few of the different ones and they all are really nice. I just like the Ultimate because it's kind of the best of all the different formulas in the one product. So that's why I grabbed that one. Next in here, I have the Ever Essence Fresh Mint Shampoo. This bottle lasted me forever. I love having a mint shampoo as like a good clarifying, scalp stimulating shampoo that I used for my first shampoo. This kind of gets in and gets rid of all the gunk, kind of stimulates my scalp. It gives you that kind of cooling, minty feeling on your scalp. I love this. I have since purchased the doTERRA shampoo and conditioner so i'm going to try that if i don't like that i will definitely be going back to this otherwise i will stick with my um doTERRA one but they are pretty big bottles so it probably will be a while before i need to purchase another shampoo then i have the lush rose argan body conditioner i absolutely love this stuff my one deterrent of purchasing this is it is pretty expensive but it really does the job it's a great product it's a great body moisturizer if you are needing one it's very easy and what's the word convenient that's the word I'm looking for it's very easy and convenient you can use it in the shower and it just washes off and it leaves your skin feeling really nourished and moisturized so if you have extra dry skin like on your legs or your arms anywhere on your body then I would recommend checking this out because it's a great and convenient body moisturizer and then I have the Daiso puff and sponge detergent for puff and sponges this is great this is like the only thing that can get all the gunk out of my sponges so i have i have a, like a full basket of this with i think probably got almost eight bottles in it so i really like this i picked up a whole heap of them because daiso did discontinue this but they have since brought it back so if you are in australia or if you have a daiso i think they have a few different stores around the world if you have a daiso make sure you get the one in the bottle that looks like this <laughs> because they do have a different formula and it's nowhere near as good. So make sure you get the puff and sponge detergent. It's amazing for getting all the gunk and crap and grime out of your makeup sponges. Then I have the Sukin Purifying Body Scrub. This is a nice body scrub. It's just not as gritty as I would like it to. I like a really like firm, like harsh, dirty body scrub that like gets in there and like gives you a good dirty scrub. <laughs> And that, this just doesn't really quite do it for me. It's all right if you can't, if you don't have the water running on it. If you don't have the water running on it, you can get more of a scrub. Whereas as soon as the water kind of hits this, and it's like a cream scrub, as soon as the water hits this, it just pretty much dissolves away. My legs are the main place where I use body scrubs because they do tend to get really dry. I tend to neglect my legs quite a lot. So if I can kind of get my legs out of the running water and I put this on my hands and I tend to use both of my hands and I get like a good <laughs> scrubbing motion with both of my hands then this is a good one otherwise if you 
do like just a more gentle scrub, then this would be a good one for you. Then I have a mini bottle of Bioderma. This stuff is fantastic. I have a large bottle and I will continue and continue and continue to repurchase this. It is fantastic for getting makeup off. I tend to use this a lot for cleaning up my wings. If I make a mistake or if I go out of the lines, I tend to do my eyes first when I have to do wings. It's a great pro tip for you if you are struggling with wings. Get a clean angled eyeliner brush, dip it in a little bit of Bioderma and then you can clean up your wings and they turn out really well if you can manage to do that. Moving on, I have two ordinary products here. First is the Ascorval Tetra Isopalmitate Solution 20% in vitamin F. I won't be repurchasing this. I didn't notice any difference to my skin. The Buffet Serum though is one of my absolute favorite serums at the moment. I already have another bottle in my skin skincare box that I have open at the moment. And once that's out, I will repurchase for sure. I think the Buffet Serum from The Ordinary is a fantastic serum. It's like a good all-rounder serum. So if you are looking for kind of a good product to start with for The Ordinary, I think this is a great one and it's kind of good for most skin types. I'd probably say it would be good pretty much all skin types. I use this as my morning serum and I feel like it really helps my makeup go on like superbly. A 5ml bottle of the doTERRA Lemon Essential Oil. I love lemon essential oil. I've been putting a few drops of this in with my towels. I don't use fabric softeners. I just pop a little bit of this in with my um, my towel cycle to make them smell a little bit nicer when they come out. I also really like diffusing this in my house. My favorite blend at the moment is um, I usually do peppermint and then I use like a wild orange or a lemon and it just makes your house smell really fresh and uplifting and clean. I then have a Revlon lip butter and this was in the color creme brulee. I will not be repurchasing this. I purchased this back when Revlon lip butters were all the craze and this color just was not right for me. So it took me forever to use up and I will not be repurchasing this one. I also have another makeup empty and this is the L'Oreal Paris Nude Magique Eau de Tint fresh feel foundation. I don't even think they make this anymore. This was a terrible foundation. This is the lightest color they sell. Way, way, way too dark for me. So I was mixing this with another foundation that I had in my project pan. So that is all my product empties for the month of August. Make sure you let me know down in the comments box what products you used up this month. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like product empties. Also click the subscribe button down below before you click off. This is your go-to channel for all things Aussie beauty. That's it from us today. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me today and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone.